Good morning, friends. I'm going to do my thought of the day based around all these articles going around the internet about Searsong Craftsman. Man, there's just a ton of negativity out there. I mean, it just follows suit to the way a lot of people think, and and there's all this, you know, uh, bad talking back and forth about it. And Sears isn't worth anything, and now it was the only reason to go there. And I just think, I think they're really uneducated thoughts. I really do. Uh, you know, sorry to offend anyone. I know even quite a few of my friends, you know, in the mechanical and technical world have been kind of posting and reposting all this, you know, negative stuff. I thought, has anybody just stopped for a second? and thought about you know who Sears is thought about the history of it you know I googled it I found some images did a little bit of searching on it check these out 1894 can you believe that here's some pictures I have a catalog everyday items that'd be super handy and then this is one I think I saw at a museum I'm pretty sure it was Barber that just blew my mind you could buy a house for $2,500 amazing because in the last couple of years going to some museums especially like the Barber Motorsports Museum uh, was a place that really birthed this uh, interest for me was that we uh, Sears has been around a long time like one of the things I saw in a museum was I, I couldn't believe that you could buy a house from Sears like you could order your home and, and assemble it or whatnot you know the the bicycle you know industry as it was what Sears did for that I, just they're, they're all these great things they so his, they're such a historically old company especially an, an American company right it's just iconic and I think it's sad. I think it's sad that they're having to sell this off. I can't imagine they want to, right? I mean, Sears and Craftsman, they're hand in hand, right? And when you say Searsman, it's hard not to think of Craftsman or vice versa. So I, I wish them the best. I, I, here's what I see. I see a company that needs to be told thank you. They're selling this off to continue to stock shelves and, and keep inventory in of, of everyday items we need. So look at some of these ads that I found. I'll flash some pictures through here. It's just unbelievable to me that we could be so ungrateful when there's, uh, there's such a history there. And I think that's why a lot of veterans and a lot of our elders and a lot of people there before us, they're just not they're not remembered. We take it for granted that, you know, the roads we drive on, the buildings we're in, the, uh, the equipment, the tool. I mean, everything we've done is because something, somebody did something before us. So Sears, I got a message for you. And I hope this message maybe goes viral and people can think about being more positive. I wish you the best and I thank you for keeping all the jobs that you have. Uh, been able to keep and plan to. I wish you the best of success. I wish the the new partners of uh, Craftsman to continue to sell that brand and and keep making it great. Uh, man, it is just uh, amazing to me that your you know supporters have not been there for you. But I think there's a lot more people like me that maybe were quiet and do support uh, what you do and and I hope you uh, continue on to uh, make great products that we can just. Uh, Go and purchase from your store and make it convenient for us. The rest of you out there, you know, today I'm going to be running around the hospital, and, and here's what my thought is. I'm going to go out. I'm going to find some uh, older folks, if you will, and I'm going to go thank them for their service, whatever their life was. Maybe ask them what they did for a job. Maybe, you know, see how they made the world better before us. Uh, thank them for their time and, and make it a great day. So I encourage you to be positive. Do the same. And uh, as I always say, keep wrenching, and we'll talk to you soon.